What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be trying to perfect this E91 M3. First off, you guys already know we're gonna be replacing the steering wheel by a title and thumbnail of today's video. But also what's wrong with the steering wheel is that that's 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 my center. So I need to go get an alignment, a fresh alignment to also help get rid of most of these lights on this dashboard. What you make it, I feel like amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on drip. I can't afford, but that's the price I pay for the memories I'm making. I've been going places, I've been shaking hands for a chance to really make it. This life is so abrasive. It's like almost gave it. All this shit that I'm laying, and it's only the foundation. I've been going crazy. And right where everything was going so well, unfortunately, I found out that my wheels were bent. And when I say wheels, I mean literally all four of my Apex wheels are bent. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to get all those redone. But at the same time, we might as well get them repowder coated. Let me know what color down below. And guys, we're officially back home with the Aza steering wheel. This isn't something I've been working with with Aza for a while now. This is actually something that was meant for the Lime Rock Edition E91 M3, but since we're in the process of building the V2 version, I figured we might as well install the steering wheel. The steering wheel I currently have in the car, guys, is absolutely horrendous. It is in terrible shape. It feels so bad to the hand. And it is the first thing I touch when I get into my steering wheel. Literally, I say this a million times over, and actually a few of the YouTubers have confirmed this um, by literally referring me to their videos. Um, I'm not wrong when I say the first thing you guys feel when you get in the car is your steering wheel, is your seat, is the shift knob. So if you have a bad steering wheel, or if you have an ugly steering wheel, or a base base steering wheel, you definitely need to check out Ozzer Auto Wheel. They have the best steering wheels out there and you can configure it like no other company out there. You can literally design it any way you want. Show a picture, they'll do it. That's how insane they are. Now, without further ado, guys, it's finally time to show you guys this beautiful steering wheel. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen it. I've had it for a while. I just haven't really found the time to install it um, between the videos, but. So with every order, you guys also get these beautiful Aza wallets. I'm actually gonna be giving this away to one of you guys. I'm gonna have Aza Auto Wheels Instagram link down below their first post. I'm gonna have a post tag right down below. Just comment on their latest post, at least the post that I linked down below, nor sent me. I will choose one of you guys from there to win this bad boy right here. Again, everything is handcrafted such high quality. I have a couple of these already, so I don't need another one, but I'm sure one of you guys will absolutely love this. And uh, not to mention, even their wrapping guys, custom Aza Auto Wheel, everything's custom, you already know. So, bada bing bada bang, there's really nothing else to it. Oh my God, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to paint the car lime rock. Check out that orange in the top, the carbon fiber top and bottom. We even have the carbon fiber centerpiece, which I normally don't rock, but honestly, the weave's just looking too good. I think, I, I think I'm gonna rock the carbon. No paddles, because we got a manual, you already know. So, super stoked to install this bad boy. It's definitely, oh, it's already changing the feeling. It's definitely gonna change the feeling when I put it in the car. Let's go ahead and slap this bad boy inside. So first things first, guys, before replacing any steering wheel, we do have to disconnect the battery. And now that we have the battery disconnected, do not close your guys' trunk or it's gonna be a mission to get in. I have a wagon, it's gonna be easier to get to the battery, but if you have a sedan or a coupe, it's not gonna be fun getting back to your battery. So do not forget to either put some kind of rag over here and uh, don't close your trunk throughout this process. Now, because I'm a professional, I've replaced this steering wheel a million times. I'm gonna go ahead and just go Speedy Gonzales on this thing. But if you guys have not ever removed this before, take your time with it so you don't actually rip or break anything. That was so easy. Now we are gonna be transferring our buttons to our new steering wheel, so let's just go ahead and do that. Out with the old and in with the new. Guys, just check out the details in this wheel. So we got the perfect leather on the side. Look at the crease in the fixture hand, absolutely perfectly. We got the flat bottom on the bottom there. This is the M3 trim, because you guys can see with the indentation right there, redone in carbon fiber, looking absolutely beautiful. We got a beautiful orange stripe right up here. If you guys look in the back as well, we also have the grooves for your fingers. Just look at that detail. Now without further ado, let's just go ahead and get the buttons installed so we can install this bad boy. 
Also guys, I've done this a million times. Never use power tools to actually screw the screws back into it. You are screwing into plastic, so easily strip it. Um, so just a little uh, pro tip, use a hand tool. I've done this a million times, so I know how much to torque these little bad boys, but uh, yeah, just, just use a hand tools just to be safe. So also, cause this steering wheel has none of the connections or the plate, we do need to transfer that over from our old steering wheel. Don't wanna take it slow. Come and sit with me, or take a walk with me I need to speak to you, just wanna be with you Just let me take you for a ride Is there a chance that we could make a- Oh buddy! <laughs> guys, I am telling you guys Oh my god, this thing feels so good dude Oh my god Guys, the V2 version, it's coming, it's coming Let's just go ahead and connect the battery real quick Just to make sure we don't have any issues over here So after testing all the buttons, all the buttons do work, guys. Woo, buddy. Shame. And guys, a few days later, I do want to say something. So I have been working on something behind the scenes, and we're so, so, so close. It is the end of this month. It is April 1st. This is not an April Fool's joke. But thankfully, and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I've been working on something for so, so, so long, and hopefully it's going to be falling into place this month. So I'll keep you guys posted on what that is exactly. Um, but yeah, it's kind of the new business venture thing that's happening, and I really, really, really hope it works out. If it works out, I'll let you guys know, obviously, ASAP. But that was something that I literally got a phone call right after installing the Aza steering wheel that I pretty much had to take care of and I've been working on since then. So long story short, I don't want to end this video with just this steering wheel install. Obviously, that's the main point of this video, but the video would only be about six minutes if I just leave it with the steering wheel install. So something else we actually got when we actually picked up the E90 donor car. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, with the E90 M3 donor car we got from LA, it came with an ESS supercharger for the E90 X chassis, which eventually we will be installing onto the Beast. Um, we just have to figure out a way to crack the CCU or find somebody that can crack it, and then a few little bolts and pieces to actually get this thing installed and we'll get that bad boy installed after the inspections and everything like that um, and keep that strictly for track purposes we also got the kw's these michelin tires and these apex wheels off that donor car and the last but not least we got these p3 gauges um which actually has the full connectors and harness and everything for the supercharger this actually plugs into like one of the sensors on the supercharger that basically tells you the boost or the pressure or something like that which is kind of cool so uh yeah these p3 gauges are ready for the supercharger so we are making our way um, to hopefully one day installing that bad boy. I really don't know when that's going to happen, mainly because, again, I'm still in the process of getting this thing inspected and making it illegal in California. But I figured in the meantime, we might as well install these P3 gauges. These bad boys, I absolutely love them. I do feel like it also changes the driver experience. Nowhere near as much as the steering wheel, which looks absolutely amazing. The steering wheel is the number one mod, guys. I've said for literally, if you guys have been following me for five or six years straight, I've always either replaced my stock steering wheel with an M Sport steering wheel or an M3 steering wheel or, or an Aza steering wheel. I literally went with no other brand other than Aza because I absolutely love their steering wheels and I love working with them. It's just it's just quality. So anyways, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very easy install. Um, I don't really know how I feel about this uh, this this like design right here. It looks like it wasn't painted. That's the OEM look. So I guess we'll rock it for now, but worst comes to worst down the road, I'll wrap these in black or paint them in black or something. These wires for the supercharger, we're just going to have to hold on to these for a little bit longer. We're not actually going to be using them right now. Um, we're just going to be pretty much connecting it to the OBD and seeing if this bad boy works. And we're going to obviously uninstall our vent and put this into the vent uh, to make it look like an OEM clean finish, which is going to look super nice. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get that bad boy installed. So yeah, that was quick and easy. This ain't my first rodeo, but yeah, I literally don't need any tools for this kind of job. So here's a before. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this before because this is stock, but uh, in a minute here, it's gonna be aftermarket. And this is after quickly installing it. You guys can see, it just looks so much better. Honestly, this doesn't really look too bad. It does complement the carbon. Um, not a huge fan still end of the day, but I don't mind it. I definitely can say that I don't mind it. The main thing is I really want this gauge to turn on. I have never tested this gauge. We got it out of the donor car. Let's hope to God it actually works.
We do have everything hooked back up. It's looking pretty darn clean if you ask me. And then we have obviously the steering wheel in there. Oh my lord. With the P3 gauges. These orange stripes on there don't look too bad with that. And maybe with the lime rock it's going to look really, really, really good. So I'm actually going to leave it until we actually paint the car lime rock. I think it's the best way to go. But the main question is obviously it looks good, but does it work? So moment of truth. <laughs> Yes, you cannot take an L on free P3 gauges. I am super hyped. Now, how do you use this thing again? I completely forgot. Don't really want to rev it up right now because we're low on gas and it's super cold right now. But guys, check that out. I think that looks super sick. Definitely complements the steering wheel. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Uh, I really didn't think these P3 gauges were gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> mainly because you guys saw in the beginning of the video that the wheels were all bent and I was like thinking maybe the things on this car is not really in good shape especially considering also when we bought the car the supercharger never worked on that car so I mean yeah there was a lot of things that didn't work so I was assuming maybe there's a possibility that this thing wouldn't work but free P3 gauges ain't gonna lie it's pretty cool so just like that guys we have a beautiful Aza steering wheel that I cannot get over we have the P3 gauges hooked up looking fine I did look it up that is perfectly legal to have connected for the inspections as long as there's no like nitrous gauge because nitrous is illegal here in california um this is just your typical rpm gauge that is perfectly legal there's no issues with that and it does look super good i'm not gonna lie now if i put down the e-brake and i go ahead and put on my seat buckle you guys noticed earlier in this video we had no lights on the dashboard the only light we have right now is because of the fuel tank but we got all the lights situated everything is dialed in perfectly we got the new steering wheel making the driver experience so much nicer we got the new alignment and we also have the p3 gauges like right Right now, from where this video started, the driver's experience has been so much better, and I honestly cannot wait to take it out for another drive. We are low on gas, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been used to driving the i3 because I haven't been spending any money on gas like the last month or even couple of months. Like it's been feeling pretty nice not spending any money on gas. In this car, I spent pretty much a full tank in a couple of days. So there is some positives with electric cars. If they make a real supercar that's electric, I might have to pre-order that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Let me go ahead and turn off this car real quick. But before we actually conclude this video. I did want to mention one other thing, guys. Now, with everything going on recently, I'm trying to start my first business. I'm not going to lie. My focus has kind of shifted from YouTube to this business, at least trying to get it started. Now, obviously, when I get started, it's going to be really rough because of how much the lease is. The lease is kind of absurd. Um, not really absurd. It's just really high for someone that's starting a new business. Um, now, I do have the funds. It is completely planned out for. I am ready for it. But I'd be lying if I say I'm not stressed. And that's how it is with every business. It is stressful. So if you guys see my mind slightly not focused where you know like nor why aren't you taking out the car and ripping it around and stuff like that i've been literally trying to save up every single penny and just trying to get this shop just as soon as we get this shop guys uh, i'll be able to recalculate things and just start you know planning out time frames um not actually knowing when we're going to get the shop and not actually knowing we're going to start the business kind of puts me in a position that i don't like it makes me feel like i don't I, like my life's in pause if you guys know what i mean like i'm trying to do something i'm trying to make money but i have to wait till then i can't buy a side flip or a major project because if I do that and then he calls me for the lease um, then I won't have the money for it and then you know but but if I'm keep waiting for the lease I'm not able to make money on the side flips or buying new projects so I'm kind of on a halt and it's stressing me out because I've never honestly been in a halt for so 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 long I've always kept on moving um, so all I'm saying guys as soon as we actually get this shop I'm not only going to be uploading on this channel but I'm actually going to be uploading on my second channel a lot more as well that has to do with what we're doing in the shop which can be pretty awesome so I have a lot of big plans for it I'm very very excited for it. I've pretty much started my LLC, my whole like corporation thing. And uh, we already got like a bunch of things set up for it. I'm just, I'm like so, so, so close to getting this thing started. At the same time, like I said, guys, um, by opening up this shop, it's going to be a public shop. You guys will be able to swing by it. You'll be able to check out this car, for example, the R8 when it's done. And you guys will be able to just see what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. And if you guys really want to, like if you guys are local, you want to swing by, you can swing by because it's going to be a place of business, um, but also a place where I work. So I just think it's about time to actually have a shop about time to start finally meeting some of you guys about time that you guys can actually see my beautiful builds that i've been working on and that is the reason why i'm keeping the e91 m3 i'm going to be building this throughout the channel it's going to be at the shop and then also the r8's my dream car i'm just again very thankful very 
very blessed, very happy, and I can't wait for everything to just hopefully just line up. And uh, like I said, when I know more, you guys will know more. It's just more of a situation where I just feel like my life's in a pause. And as soon as it's unpaused, it will be unpaused for you guys. You guys will get a whole lot more content. Um, you guys will know exactly what's going on. Hopefully better content because I hopefully I'll be making more money. I don't think in the first couple of months, I think it's going to be a little bit stressful. Hopefully we actually turn a profit. I mean, that's what every you know dream is for a new business for anyone. Um, it's just, uh, yeah, stressed, but it's a calculated risk. I think it's a good calculated risk. And that's about it. That's, that's me and as transparent with you guys as possible. That's literally where I am right now. And I, I wish I can give you guys more, but I don't know more. So without further ado, guys, it's going to have to conclude this video. Before I actually conclude this video, again, I just want to give a huge special shout out to Aza Auto Wheel for making me this beautiful custom steering wheel for this project. I reached out to them, as you guys can see, uh, for the orange stripe for the Lime Rock Edition steering wheel. When I first started this project eight months ago, I told them it was in no rush. So that's why they didn't really rush the steering wheel. Um, and it was been on the back burner for a while because I told them this project is going to take me about a year. So like no rush whatsoever. And uh, long story short, as soon as I actually got this car buttoned up, they pretty much expedited it. They got the wheel out for me. And uh, I'm just, I'm very, very, very thankful for it. Looking at it makes me really, really, really want to paint this car Lime Rock, especially now with those other orange accents. So yeah, this car is going to have a lot of orange accents in the interior and it's going to get it pretty much ready for the Lime Rock edition. But like I said, guys, make sure to check out Aza Auto Wheel. They make the best steering wheels. I absolutely love them. So for those of you guys who sticked around to hear my spiel in the end of this video, again, thank you guys so much for sticking around. Thank you guys for supporting me. Hopefully once this business starts back, I'll be able to give back to you guys one way or another. Um, but yeah, very stoked and I'll keep y'all posted. So without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.